Just save it and take another one. There are options here, I believe. <laughs> when I'm old, I think that children will ask me to tell stories about how South Africa somehow managed to turn into this incredible place full of unicorns and sparkles and everyone was super nice to each other, which was really, really great. And somehow that was a miracle, but we got there. I'm hoping, anyway. An equality parade, definitely. Again, with lots of unicorns. I'm definitely not lucky, but I'm incredibly blessed. So that when you lick it, it makes your tongue feel very uncomfortable. Yo, zero to a thousand, baby, definitely. Just give me the darkness, rather. With dim, I'm imagining things. At least when it's dark, I know that it's a disaster, so it's fine. To be very honest with you, even one is too many because I'm so bad at them. I haven't quite figured out like how to angle everything right, um, so I'm not there yet, but soon. You know, funnily enough, I'm an actor and you'd think that I'd be able to be like, yeah, definitely, but for some reason when people ask me in a personal environment, I cannot act for shit, not even a little bit. I'd like to believe... Archiving, maybe? just to, I feel like we're in such a tumultuous time, not only in South Africa and the world as a whole, that um, we're making so much and we're producing so much and conversations are changing and dictionaries and words and things are growing. So I'd like to believe that 25 years from now we'll, we'll have a real focus on wanting to keep all of that. I am performing a show called La Chère de Ma Chère, um, translated, Flesh of My Flesh, um, with Clara van Veig, directed by Penny Angelson, and I think it's going to be awesome. Really excited, um, very terrified, but I think that that's a good place to be, because right now, if it feels safe, then you're probably not making the kind of work that's going to do anything. 10,000 things, um, I'd like to look at getting funding to make sure that we could continue performing the show all over South Africa and hopefully internationally, but we want to make sure that we're paid properly, so that has to be funded properly in order to make it happen. Um, I'm writing, um, I'm looking at bringing back my one woman show, the Swan Song, because I actually never toured it around. Um, South Africa, I'm going to LA for a short while for Comic Con for some work, which will be cool. And basically, I'm just out here trying to make sure that I'm in the next Black Panther, man. <laughs> Are we done? Just like that. I got to love you every day. I got to love you, love you.